This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. U.S. President Joe Biden and his team may announce his re-election campaign by video next week. This according to a source familiar with the matter on Thursday. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment. While the Democratic National Committee declined to comment, Biden has long said he intends to run again. But the lack of a formal announcement had seeded doubt among supporters about whether one of the oldest world leaders would or should commit to another four-year term. Biden would be 86 at the end of a second term. Yemen ministers visited the site of a deadly stampede in the capital, Sana'a, Thursday and announced that an investigation is underway to find the cause of the incident that killed at least 78 people. More from VOA Steve Miller. Hundreds of people were crowded to receive alms of about $9 per person, according to witnesses involved with rescue efforts speaking to Reuters. One medic said, quote, when the door opened, there was a big rush by people wanting to reach the schoolyard first, and some people began falling on the steps leading to the entrance. End quote. Authorities say the two merchants responsible for organizing the donation event have been detained and that an investigation was underway. Two thirds of the population need help in the war torn country. Steve Miller, VOA News. The World Health Organization has urged warring factions in Sudan to pause their fighting to enable people to get basic necessities and allow health care workers to reach those in need of care. WHO says about 330 people have been killed and about 3,200 others injured since fighting broke out April 15th between the armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces in Sudan. And the Pentagon is positioning military forces near Sudan to help evacuate U.S. embassies personnel in Khartoum if needed. This is VOA News. Officials in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, said a bright flash that lit the night sky over the city Wednesday was likely a meteor and not a Russian missile attack or a falling U.S. satellite. VOA's Jeff Custer has more. A security camera video recorded at about 10 p.m. Kyiv time Wednesday shows the night sky over the city light up as a bright object flashes suddenly and appears to fall towards the horizon and disappear. From his Telegram social media account, Kyiv's military administration chief, Sergei Popko, said he believed the object was a retired NASA a satellite that was expected to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere Wednesday. But a NASA spokesman said the satellite was still in orbit and nowhere near Ukraine at the time the flash was seen. While it reportedly triggered an air raid alert, Popko said the city's air defenses were not automatically activated, eliminating the possibility the flash was a missile or drone attack. Finally Thursday, the Ukraine space agency's Igor Kornienko told the French news agency AFP their assumption was the object was a meteor, though they could not precisely identify it. Jeff Custer, VOA News, Washington. An IRS agent wants whistleblower protection to provide information of alleged mishandling of a criminal probe into President Biden's son. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Magani has more. The agent's lawyer has told several House and Senate panels his client has information about clear conflicts of interest and preferential treatment in the investigation related to Hunter Biden's taxes. Attorney Mark Lytle says the agent can contradict sworn testimony to lawmakers by a senior political appointee who was not named. A federal grand jury has been investigating Hunter Biden's taxes and foreign business work for at least five years. There are no indications the investigation involves President Biden. House Republicans have their own investigations into nearly every facet of Hunter Biden's business dealings. Sagar Magani at the White House. North Korea's state media KCNA said Friday that the nation's position as a nuclear weapons state will remain undeniable and it will continue what it called necessary action until military threats from the United States and its allies are eliminated. North Korea's Foreign Minister Cho Sun Hui issued a statement criticizing the United States and other group of seven countries. According to KCNA, Cho accused the G7 countries of illegally interfering in North Korea's internal affairs by demanding denuclearization. He said Pyongyang will take strong action if they attempt to violate its sovereignty and fundamental interests. On Tuesday, the G7 foreign ministers condemned the North's April 13th test of an intercontinental ballistic missile. And New Mexico prosecutors have decided to drop criminal charges against actor Alec Baldwin in the fatal shooting of a cinematographer in 2021. I'm Marissa Melton, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.